position of a particle is given as x is equals to t square minus 4t plus 10. Then find the ratio of displacement and distance in first 3 seconds. Given position of a particle x is equals to t square minus 4t plus 10. By using this we have to find out the ratio of displacement and distance travelled by the particle in first 3 seconds. Okay, I will explain this problem in two different methods. Check the first method. When time is equals to 0, position of the particle is equals to in place of t substitute 0. So first term and second term becomes to 0. So x is equals to 10 meters. So when time equals to 0, position of the particle is at 10 meters. And when time is equals to 1 second, then position of the particle 1 square minus 4 into 1 plus 10. 1 minus 4 plus 10. 11 minus 4 is equals to 7 meters. So when time is equals to 1 second, position of the particle is at 7 meters. And take time is equals to 2 seconds, position of the particle 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 10. 4 minus 8 plus 10. 14 minus 8 equals to 6 meters. So when time is equals to 2 seconds, position of the particle is at 6 meter. When time is equals to 3 seconds, then position of the particle Nine minus twelve plus ten. Nineteen minus twelve is equals to seven meters. We know displacement. The shortest distance in between initial and final positions is called displacement. Displacement of the particle in between zero seconds to one second. S one bar is equals to. When time is equals to 0 second, position of the particle is at 10 meters and 1 second 7 meters. So take x2 minus x1, 7 minus 10 that is equals to minus 3 meters. And now from 1 second to 2 seconds, take x2 bar x2 minus x1 is equals to, when time is equals to 2 seconds, position of the particle is at 6 meter minus and at 1 second, 7 meters. So, displacement is equals to minus 1 meter. And from time 2 seconds to 3 seconds, displacement S3 bar is equals to x2 minus x1, when time equals to 3 seconds, 7 meter and at 2 seconds, 6 meter. That is equals to 1 meter. So now displacement S bar is equals to S1 bar plus S2 bar plus S3 bar. Minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 that is equals to minus 3 meter. This is the displacement of the particle. Now we want distance. So distance not depends upon the direction. The length of the path covered by the particle is called distance. So, take magnitude mod S1 bar plus mod S2 bar plus mod S3 bar. That is equals to minus 3 mod of minus 3 plus mod of minus 1 plus 1. That is equals to 3 plus 1 plus 1, 5 meters. So, now we want the ratio of Displacement to the distance that is equals to minus 3 by 5. The ratio of displacement and distance in first 3 seconds is equals to minus 3 by 5. The same question we can solve by using velocity time graph. I will explain that method also. Given position x is equals to t square minus 40 plus 10. Differentiate with respect to time. We know velocity is equals to 
rate of change of displacement d by dt of t square minus 4t plus 10 that is equals to 2t minus 4 and the differentiation of constant is equals to 0. So v is equals to 2t minus 4. When time is equals to 0 seconds then v is equals to minus 4 meter per second. When time is equals to 1 second then v is equals to 2 into 1 minus 4 that is equals to minus 2 meter per second. When time is equals to 2 seconds then v is equals to 2 into 2 minus 4 that is equals to 0 meter per second. When time is equals to 3 seconds then v is equals to 2 into 3 minus 4 that is equals to 2 meter per second. Now draw the graph in between velocity and time. Time is on x axis and v is on y axis. When time is equals to 0 seconds, v is equals to minus 4. When t is equals to 1 second, v is equals to minus 2. t is equals to 2 seconds, then v is equals to 0. And t is equals to 3 seconds, then v is equals to 2 meter per second. Take this point O, A, B, C and this point is T. Area of OAB and ACD. Area of velocity time graph gives the displacement and magnitude of the velocity time graph gives the distance. So by using this graph first find out the displacement and next distance. Area of OAB is equals to half into from 0 to 2, 2 seconds and here minus 4. 2 to get cancelled that is equals to minus 4 meters. And area of ACD is equals to half into from 2 to 3 1 second and here v is 2 meter per second 2 to get cancelled that is equals to 1 meter and now from this when we take the directions then it gives the displacement so without any direction when we take the sum then it gives the distance so displacement is equals to minus 4 plus 1 that is equals to minus 3 meters and distance is equals to mod minus 4 plus 1 that is equals to 5 meters. Ratio of displacement to the distance is equals to minus 3 by 5. So students follow any one of the methods.